bitches. I'm a man cheater. Hey rockers, hip hoppers, and everybody all around the world, just in case those two categories aren't inclusive enough. Welcome back to Damn It Open, my name's Thew, it's the show where I take toys out of a box and show them to you, and that's the show because the world is ridiculous now. So yes, hope we're all good and so on, I'm feeling pretty good about how well the impact of video is doing. Numbers are looking healthy, which makes the graph go all big, which makes the good chemical happen in my brain. Very happy with how that's gone, thank you everybody for continuing to support my efforts. Any dang who? Fancy a box or two? Box 55, One Hanley Street, Nottingham, NG15, BL, United Kingdom, UK. United Kingdom, UK, is that how that works? Okay, no letters or whatever today, we just got four big old boxes. And here is the first one. This has come all the way from Allentown, Pennsylvania, and I, for one, am hungry for bots. Everybody all around the world. That really is the ultimate cop-out category, isn't it? Just every human who ever lived. God, I even got a heads up on my um, YouTube analytics like that. It was like, your video is performing well with subscribers and non-subscribers. It's like, isn't that just everybody? People who are and are not subscribed. That's just all the people. Everyone is one of those. I mean, I appreciate it. Thanks for the pat on the head, but did you need to specify? Just say it's doing well. It's fine. All right, let's see where we're at then. Greeting, good sir. Just the one greeting. You were once kind enough to feature a letter from my youngest son, Zach, mail and kibble. Yes, that was in the infancy days. The other day, I received a letter from who may well be my youngest viewer. Yes, indeed. His name's Zach. He's from Pennsylvania, and he is seven. And he writes, Dear Thew, how are you doing? I'm all right. Well, now my oldest, Josh, who found and introduced us to you in the first place, is getting married this summer. What? Ah, that's amazing. Wow, congratulations, Josh. God, the people who wrote into my channel as children now have their life together more than I do. <laughs> Anyway, his wife Hannah loves Transformers just as much as he does, but more specifically, we all love watching brilliant knockoff beatdown reviews. I was hoping I could ask for your help for my wedding gift to them. Okay. <laughs> Who do we have? Oh boy. Oof. Oh no, he fought a bit. Don't need me to trash him, he's doing it himself. So it's some kind of big, stompy, semi shark man? That doesn't look right. Come on, bro, straighten up. You're on TV. All right, give me a minute with this. I don't know if this even transforms. Uh, good God. Is that a foot? Is that a flipper? I've got a whole chunk here. I don't... I'm going to assume this goes here. What? So I've got two separate shark heads here that don't appear to actually form a part of the thing. What the hell? This is not a transformer. This is just a robot that has some shit on it. It's kind of like Energon Megatron, but if it was utter rubbish. Is that it? That can't be it. Um, I see wings, I see wheels. I am nowhere with this. This is beyond me. Many arms and legs and two or three heads. I must confess, I am vexed. What an absolute tragedy. So yes, this has come from Andy and Zach. I'm actually delighted to hear that you're still watching the show. And indeed, merry wedding to Josh and Hannah. I wish you all the best in life and every success with your wedding and so forth. Please do party on. Let it never be said that life don't come at you. Okay, how the hell do we continue from that? We have a repurposed Amazon box. I'm, I'm shook. I'm, I'm shook by that. That has thrown me. Josh and Andy and Zach. Wow. Delighted. Absolutely delighted. Still got that letter, you know, it's in the uh, folder in the other room. Anyway, <laughs> let's do this thing. We can only get more normal from here on in. <laughs> Things can only get standard. What do you got? Dear few, how are you? 
weirded out. First I must apologize for not keeping my promise and buying you a beverage at TFN this year. Sorry, I managed. It was good to catch you at TFN, however brief, and look forward to a longer catch-up session next year. In the meantime, here's a few goodies. Keep up the work. You're powering on strong. That's a t-shirt. Powering on strong. Your friend Ian McLean at Arrow Fire. Yes, indeed. Thank you, mate. Now, where are we at? All right, we have a uh, Titan's Return Deluxe Chrome Dome. This was an alright figure, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we were all a bit fed up of this mold when this guy came out, but it is actually all right. I think it's probably the best version of this figure. There were like, what, seven or eight of the combiner version, and this one sort of broke free of some of the shackles that it had to deal with and was actually just quite a good standalone figure. Also, I really love the colours. Like, how does brown and beige look so good? There we go, mate. The Chromest of the Domest. A little weird that we didn't get any more versions of this. Like, yeah, there were plenty of the combiner ones, but only one of this. I think it was kind of worn out by the time it arrived, wasn't it? I think it showed up worn out. But yes, love this guy. Love his style. Love his vintage leathery feel. And that head is pure styling. Absolute style -or. We also have Titan's Rewind. His little information boyfriend, which is what I'm going to call my new synthwave album. Transmetal Rhinox. Come on, you. Where's them leggies at? Show me them feet. There he is. Nice. Surprisingly threatening without the horn. Because when he's got the horn, it's just like he's a rhino man. But without it, he looks like a skull. Like that friggin' thing out of Annihilation when it's like in like a human voice. Horrifying. There we are. Transmetal Rhinox Annihilation Edition. And we have Beast Wars Polar Claw. God, he's blowing out my camera. He's so good. Gleamy. But yes, very fond of this figure. Quite a sort of inelegant early attempt at a beast former. Like, I wonder how his arms work. But his beast mode forelegs are just the weirdest thing. Like this one is like, bleh, it's got this droopy telescope claw dealio. Like he's shooting out his own skeleton at you. Quite a heavy horror theme with these beasties, isn't there? And this one friggin' comes off and it turns into a bat. Just straight up automorphs into a little white bat. Is his leg a Dracula? Oh, polar claw. You did nothing wrong. I think this was like wave one Beast Wars when they, they hadn't quite nailed it down yet. I wasn't paying attention at the time. Here we go, just scalp the poor bugger, flip him around, and that is your guy. <laughs> Not the most refined boy, but he is all right. He's big and chunky, terrifying toothy face. Flips around into an equally terrifying swamp monster face. Like a pig, isn't it? Like a pig with no skin. So he is all right, isn't he? He's got all the gimmicks. He's loaded up with detail and loads of like actual quite good articulation for 1995. And I can deal with his leg turning into a bat. That's fine. That's fun. But why does he hold it like it's a gun? I don't know. All I know is, thanks Ian, that's Brill. Why not, eh? Couple of titans, couple of beasts, can't go wrong. <laughs> All right, let's do this uh, slightly chunkier chap. Note to recipient, please open the side for intended dramatic effect. All right, I'll play along. There's an element of theater to this, isn't there? Who's talking about theater like I know what I'm doing? I don't. You know what else was weird? With the old uh, Impactor review, it's stunning, like, how many people I've been speaking to that didn't realize Wreck and Rule is a pun on rock and roll? Like, I only realized sort of this year, but I think it's mostly because you only ever see it written down, and like the words don't look like rock and roll. It's Wreck and Rule, there's a W, and there's no clear emphasis in Wreck and Rule, so it's not immediately clear that it's supposed to sound like rock and roll. Because, you know, Wreck and Rule, that sounds really dorky. But rock and roll, you know, you say it like that, and then suddenly it's got some balls, you know? But it is a weird one. It doesn't come across immediately. Like spawn of a glitch. That's you spawn of a glitch. You know exactly what they mean. And it has the same rhythm and pace and rhyme as son of a bitch and it sounds badass. But wreck and rule, it doesn't, it's not clear. You know, it just, it, it's not as good. Anyway, sorry, it's just a thing that's been going on. All right. El Jefe Few Primo. Is that who I am today? All right. Envelope and everything. Oh my God. <laughs> This document officially certifies that Few never has to watch anime. Thou shalt not at him. Thank you. Thank God. I'm free. Dear Few, just threw some bits and bobs in a box for you to show my appreciation and to say thanks for your hashtag content. Getting me through a lot of heavy life garbage. You're a top lad. Ah, Lots of love, Maya. Ah, cheers, Maya. Yeah, thank you. This is brilliant. This is all very slick. Envelopes and actually good handwriting. It's... Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's Gundams. Ooh. Whoever is this? LBX Grooks? Grooksen? 2013 Bandai. Is this from like 
Gurren Lagan or something? Or one of those? I don't even know. Or is it just a gun? <laughs> Anyone want to uh, fill me in on that? I don't know. Oh, flip. I got the new um, HG Sandrock kit that uh, I'm thinking about doing a build video on. I've got to build it soon anyway. But it has been a while, so we'll see. I feel like I should probably do something. Team Bandit, frame type brawler frame, armaments, hell scythe slash hell blaster. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. That's wicked. Some more fluff and stuff. Ooh. Hey, Monster Motors! That is uh, Nick Roach's book, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. So we got like mad scientists, sort of supernatural. Monster Minds attack pack kind of thing going on. I don't know. Souped up. Supernatural. Cars that are alive and kind of spooky. God, eight-year-old me would have loved this. I have a feeling 35-year-old me might also quite like it. Look at this angry truck. Super. That's very October appropriate. And we have Mech Cadet U. What the heck is this? Uh, don't recognize this at all. Looks like some kind of uh, anime thing. I'm only half serious about the anime thing. I, I, I have time for anime, but I just, I can't stand talking about it. I don't know. It just makes me shrink. I just can't. I think it's not anime. It's weebs. <laughs> That's what it is. Finally got to the bottom of it. But yeah, this looks all right. I'll have a read of that. And lastly, a further kit-shaped item. Knuckle Kong. Oh shit, this is Zoids. Look at this beast. <laughs> Man, is this a kit or just a toy? 135, it, it, it looks kit-like. I'm tempted to just open it. Yeah, come on, let's have a look. Whoa, oh, yeah, it's a kit. <laughs> okay, not today, baby. My word, so we have Zoid's Knuckle Kong. Whatever this flipping fabulous thing is, no idea, looks cool though. And a couple of lovely uh, TPBs. Why ever not? Oh, cheers, Maya, you freaking ledge. All right, one more. God, this is quite heavy. We have a second one from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. This is from Samuel Chior. Uh, all right, we have Ireland for Dummies, an Irish tourist guide. It's very off-brand. I would like to visit Ireland, actually. I've never done Ireland. It's not far. Should probably do it before uh, the event takes place. Okay, a uh, weird start, but all right. <laughs> Dear Huey 14 Wee. <laughs> I hope this parcel greets you well. I write this to you to tell you that you have unwittingly and intentionally and literally saved my life. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this out, but... Party on, buddy. Glad you're still there. I greatly enjoy and love all of your videos, even the crap ones, not that there are any. There are. Have you seen King of the Monsters? Yeah. Personally, it made me grin like an idiot. Same. Dumb as rocks and I loved it. In conclusion, I adore you, adore your videos, and you are one of the most enjoyable, fun-filled YouTubers out there. <laughs> I disagree. P.S. Be sure to swivel your couch. Pun to the memes! Doesn't say who it's from, but the shipping note said Samuel. So nice one, Sam. Uh, yeah. Book about Ireland and a big heavy... Oh my Christ alive. <laughs> what is this? Oh boy, some kind of Tonka kid-friendly chungulator. All right, so it's kind of a fire convoy thing, kind of a rescue bot. So I don't know if you could call this a knockoff. It's like an actual Tonka product, but it's clearly not a transformer. Oh, baby. God, that's chunky. And that flips around. This is all very Sentinel Prime. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> God, that's spooky. I kind of love it. It's a little bit fire convoy, a little bit galaxy convoy, a little bit... um. Robot guy from Spaceballs. What was his name? Pizza the Hut. That guy. That's a reference I've made before. But it's appropriate. Yeah, someone sent me a message the other day. He's like, why are you always comparing stuff to Soundwave? Like Deathsaurus, uh, Blaster. Well, because they're similar. Deathsaurus has got the uh, little QB animal friends that live inside him. Blaster is a radio man. It's it's okay to compare things if they're similar. God, what a clunky garbage man this is. <laughs> a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Absolute thunker. You know, I, I kind of love this. It's sort of, there's a disarming naivete to it. Oh, <gasps> there's a switch. It's the sound of the police. This is Rusty Roy. Let's go to robot mode. Did he just say his name was Rusty Roy? Let's take to the air. Getting a bit Buzz Lightyear in here, isn't it? All right, all right, wrap it up. <laughs> Tainted love. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, well, nice one, Sam. This is hilarious. And uh, yeah, I, I, I should probably go to Ireland. If there is one thing I need to do, it's more traveling. Oh God, big day. So big thanks to uh, Sam and to Maya 
and to Ian, and to Zach and Andy, and Josh and Hannah. My God. There is something really nice about hearing from you guys again. That seems such a long time ago. That, that was lifetimes ago. But for now, I'm going to take old Rusty Roy and put him somewhere in pride of place next to that friggin' lawnmower thing from last time, probably. Big, chunky red robots. Cannot go wrong. And I shall see you next time on this here website. Peace! <laughs> Wasn't that pleasant? Lovely stuff if I say so myself. Anyway, big shout outs this time to Kevin Robinson. And I'll see you later. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.